Alrighty, how's it going everyone? Zero one of one here, and uh, I figured it would probably be a good time for me to actually start recording. I've been working on the station for a little while. Um, I was over by the behemoth, uh, mining some stuff. Well, not mining, but salvaging stuff from the drones that spawn off of there. Uh, but I had to come back because the inventory of both the Nautilus and uh, Brutus uh, it was full, so yeah, uh, I wasn't even really expecting that, but I mean, you get a lot of stuff out of those drones, so I have been working on the station, as I said, uh, so this section here is new, so we have all of this, and these are all labeled as, you know, these are all more component storage, uh, I think this one is ammo, this one is tools and bottles, these two are ores and ingots, um, I built this little park here. So we'll hop in here. And it is all uh, hooked up and pressurized in here. And I went with the same color scheme as uh, the H2O2 pump generator thing that I got going on there. And so this kind of gives it kind of like a more of like a midnight, not really midnight, but kind of like a nighttime sort of vibe, I guess. So kind of okay with that. Um, okay, so let's see, what else have I been working on? There's all of our hydrogen tanks. I'm probably going to do another section of hydrogen tanks over on the other side. Um, then we have this section here. And I'm doing this without my light on so you can kind of get a better idea of, you know, the, the lighting and how that looks, you know, when it's actually dark here. And then we go into the O2 tank storage little spinny thing there. Uh, and then we have this, which was our first garden that we made. Um, I ended up piping up all of the refineries, even though we can't actually build them all. <clears throat> and uh, I have everything set here to where I can separate them out. So I've got uh, sorters on each and every one of these, although they're set to blacklist nothing. So just everything goes in there at this point. Uh, some of these still aren't built all the way. So those four uh, still aren't built but every single one of these has the tier four or five yield modules. So the highest tier of yield modules that I can do. Um, so they're all, they're all kind of doing their thing. Um, the color here is Juniper. And to give you an idea of what that is, it is um, 40, so RGB is 44, 102, and 79. And it makes just kind of like a nice, sort of like a woodsy green type color. And then I also put the sifter in here as well. Uh, that's a dead rotor. This is the one that's actually controlling the spinning. Um, and it's it's turned off right now. So it's not actually going through the gravel because I might need the gravel for something. I don't know yet. Um, but yeah. And then I built another section over here. I don't know if I have labeled these yet. So these ones have not been labeled yet. So they're just kind of like extra at this point. Um, I did put in a bunch of... Uh, build and repair unit. So I've got eight over here. I've got another eight that I need to put in over here. Um, and that brings us to kind of this side. So we've got about half of this thing filled in so far. So from here over to here. So technically it's a little more than half, but meh. Um, I also worked on the wall out here. So that was fun. Um, and why am I missing a block here? That's odd. Let me fill that in. All right, and then I suppose I can put my light back on so you guys can see. All right, so we've got the wall built up in here. I don't have the platform built yet, um, but that will be coming along. And then also I figured out how to do all of the indentations out here. So it looks, I think it looks pretty good from all angles. And so then this is gonna be repeated pretty much around the entire station. And so then we get over here to the, what is that, south gate? North gate, north gate, this is the north gate. Um, I still need to put north in there. Um, but yeah, so I've been spending a lot of time in here. I also emptied out the entire inventory of the Nautilus. So everything that was in there is now in here, uh, in the station. Um, and then with the refineries here and the O2H2 generators and the storage for the gases and the assembler, um, we're now pretty much fully self-sustainable in here. Um, I still do need to do uh, daily needs stuff, but I want to put that in like one of the bigger buildings, like up on top here, 
and kind of make that like a whole, I don't know, thing. So like maybe put it like over this section here. But yeah, and then uh, from the top, like as you're going through here, I mean, that just looks like it's just a ton of pipes just going everywhere. So I think it looks kind of cool. I mean, that's kind of what I want for this is for it to look just like really industrial going through here. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think it's coming along pretty nicely. Got a little H2O2 pump. I was thinking about moving it over a little bit more, but then I thought that was going to be a lot of work if I did that. So instead I built this around it just to kind of fill in the space there. And then uh, over on the other side, as soon as the game wants to unfreeze, um, I'm going to put something in here, just a small little building, and I'm probably going to put in a uh, med bay in there, I think. And then as far as the freezing goes, for the game, it was suggested that the, one of the possible reasons is that I have too many extra grids just kind of floating around, and so it's hard for the, the game to keep up. So I did go through using the creative tools and just got rid of all of the extra um, just like floating objects and broken drones and all of that stuff. So that all got deleted. Um, I didn't do anything else there. There was no creative building in here. Um, it was all, you know, getting the parts for it. All right. Um, but yeah, so Brutus is ready to do some more of the... Uh, Um, harvesting of drones and I do have that mining carriage over there as well that I might grab and then I have a rust freighter over there that's stopped so I can go grab that a mine layer mining transport so there's a lot of stuff around here and it just kind of like just stops like there's another mining carriage right there actually there's two things there's a military escort over there as well so I mean all these things they just kind of like just stop right here and I think one of the reasons for that is because normally in space you have like a 360 in three dimensions of room for anything to you know kind of spawn in but things can't spawn in gravity um, unless it's procedural generation like asteroids when you first open a game then it can but as far as like all of these npc things uh getting spawned in it can't spawn anywhere in gravity so that reduces um, the area that it can spawn to being directly above so instead of having the Z in both directions, you just have the Z in half of a direction. You have the full X and you have half of a Y. So it reduces uh, where everything can spawn. And also most of these things are smart enough to not plow into gravity. Well, maybe I shouldn't say most. I, some of these things are smart enough not to plow themselves into gravity. So they all just kind of just stop and stay here. And then that's just free pickings. So yeah, um, that's what we got going on so far. Um, it's been a lot of work. I've been at this for, what time is it? About 11.30. Um, I've been at this since like 6.30 this morning. Um, I have to wake up early normally for work, so 6.30 is actually me sleeping in. Um, but yeah, so this is like five hours of work here. It's kind of ridiculous, but it's coming along. <sighs> okay. Um, yeah, so uh, what do you say we go and uh, go scavenge some more things? So we'll head back over to the behemoth and just kind of chill over there for a little bit. Uh, all right, so now I know that I'm off a little bit. There we go. I'm just going to kind of move myself up a little bit without hopefully breaking too much stuff down there. All right. And then we have to go. Oh, hey, why is that, sir? Uh, the armored platypus, one of the thrusters was going off and it shouldn't be, which means that I probably forgot to turn off the, uh... oh, and should I leave the platypus here? Take it with me? I suppose it doesn't really matter. I mean, the Nautilus, isn't going to be in any kind of danger. So I don't think it really matters too much, but I do need to turn the dampeners off here. And that should help uh, with all of this stuff. All right, get out. Thank you. Okay. So good to go there. 
Right, and then I'm going to do a blind jump over to Behemoth. Uh, everything should be already set in the jump drive since I jumped there and I jumped back, so it should be the same distance roughly. Okay, um, now Behemoth is up here. I feel like I need to move a little bit more, like really, really close to the base. Okay, where is it over there? I'm like completely looking in the wrong direction here. Okay. There we go. So we'll jump pretty much straight to it. Uh, I mean, we're going to be about three kilometers away, which is should be good enough, I think. So here we go. And there we go. Okay, so now let's hop in Brutus. Get his shield up and running real quick. Alright, so this guy needs to be unlocked and toggled off. Okay. And then Brutus will... Uh, okay, so... Definitely want to move up a little bit more. Um, we'll throw on. Okay, so that should be good, I think. All right. And where is the behemoth? Whoa, 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 whoa! Why am I so far away from it? I should not be this far away from it. Okay. So let's connect everything back up. I wonder why it didn't jump all the way. It's weird. Turn that on. Okay, so we should be locked in. And then I need to turn off the dampeners. Good. All right. I mean, I'm pretty certain that the jump drive was set to about 24 kilometers. So why did we end up so far away? That's what I want to know. Why are we so far? Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Oh, because I got rid of all of. Okay. That makes sense. Um, what if I went with 0 0.75? 0.25? It's about 10 kilometers. Uh, 0.2. 9 kilometers. That should be decent. Okay, so because I lightened the load so much, uh, it adjusted the jump. It's going to put me pretty close, so I think I actually want to lower it a little bit more. Eight kilometers, I think, will be good. All right, so let's try this again. Okay, that's better. It's about three and a half kilometers out, which will be fine. And is it sending in a drone already? It is sending in a drone already. Switch lock and turn off. Good to go. All right, Brutus. Also, our batteries are only at half capacity. That's not great. Um, 
Oh, hey, but it kept the shield up. That's good. Oh, hey, grab that ice. Really? Hey, grab the ice. Whoa, 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 why is my ship fuel low? Yes, thank you. Reactor. Sorry. Reactor. I have no uranium in here? Why do I have no uranium in here? That's not good. Okay, so I'm gonna have to take... Yeah, and that ship hitting this one uh, pretty much killed the shield, which kind of sucks. Alright, so uranium. We are very, very, very low. Okay, well, uh, I guess I'd better start getting some, right? I completely forgot that uh, dropping everything or forcing everything out of the ship also meant the uranium would drop out of the ship, which is uh, not great. So we'll put that in there. And that should split evenly into the reactors. Hello? Okay, fine. I'll do it myself. Five can go in there. Another five can go in there. Good to go. So, now we have fuel in there. Okay, and then that shield is back up, which is good. And then it does look like I picked up that hydrogen, which is good. And then also I expanded the shield on this, so it goes out a little bit farther, so that way in case missile hits or whatever, um, it shouldn't it should be out of the range of the uh, area of effect. Hopefully, anyways. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Are we not getting that stuff? What's going on? There we go. Now we're breaking it down. Okay, so we do have another gunboat out there. Um, how are we doing for our shield? 199,000, not bad. What do we set to, megawatt? Okay, good. Means I'm not gonna have to set it backwards. Um, okay. Now, because we are on a different side of the behemoth, because we overshot it by a lot, um, that is gonna Okay, really? What 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 are you doing? Stop. What do you, why? Why would you do that? That's just dumb. All right. So you can see that there are some things broken over here. But look, missile, missile, gun, 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 missile, missile, gun, 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 gun. Missile, 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 missile. Dude, this thing is armed to the teeth. And there's the gunboat right there. Um, and what is this? Oh, hey. One of those ships. Well, hopefully that just kind of stays away. All right. So let me go and uh, provoke this thing and see if we can get some incisors coming. Okay, a gamma drone? Why are you sending a gamma drone after me? 
It was just dumb. Oh, it's coming from that thing. Okay. Yeah, that's that's fine. We'll just blow it out of the sky. It'll be fine. And there it goes. Ship fuel low. Alright, so I'm going to turn the guns off for now. And I'm going to try to tank the damage. And then we'll just kind of break things down as they come in. Um, the only problem with the shield being out so far is that there might be more of an opportunity for things to like run into me. Oh, uh, yeah, we definitely need gathering gunboat. Okay, so it did just spawn in something else. Really? What? It, what? Why? Oh, that's gonna hit the shield. Dang it! E. Hurt a little bit. Okay, so what I need is uranium, and I need that rather quickly. Is that sending in another drone? Are you kidding me right now? So let me move in a little bit. And our shield is dependent upon our power. So if I run out of uranium, which is completely possible, um, that could be quite bad. We are already out of uranium. That is really bad. Which means that the shield is dependent entirely upon the batteries, and we only have eight minutes of battery power left. So that's uh, not great. This could end up going very badly. And if I don't have power, like especially in the batteries. Okay, I'm waiting for this thing to like send something after me. It's like, come on, man. That's another gunboat over there. Yes, I understand that the ship fuel is low. We have seven minutes. I just wanted to spawn some stuff out here. Like, come on, dude. Send something after me with uranium so I can recharge myself. Uh, this could end up so badly. I am like creeping along here and it's not sending anything after me. Okay, we're almost within a kilometer of that gunboat. Why is this not... There we go. Thank you. Ship fuel low. Yes, I know the ship fuel is low. Alright, so we've got some gunboats coming in. Okay. And as long as that is out of here, I'm good, and the incisors... Don't hit the shield, please don't hit the shield. Yeah, it hit the shield. Oh crap. That is a really good way to take out the shield very quickly. So yeah, I'm thinking I might have to reduce the field so that way I don't get hit by things because that's gonna kill the shield faster than anything else. So we'll bring this back down to 15 for shield fit, which is the default. And that should hopefully work. Okay, 
so now I need to see if I've picked up any uranium yet. I have. Good. Good. Reactor. Okay. Give me power. All of the power. And then also I'm going to put 30 into this one as well, so I have all of the power. We have another gunboat coming in. Attack the gunboat, please. Why is that thing going away? That's weird. Anyways, uh, so we should be good on power now. I'm thinking. Uh, reactor. Do I have any more uranium? There's a couple more incisors coming in. Which is fine. We can deal with that. So they should stop before they hit me, which gives everything a good chance to hack them and take them out. And then I should be able to take the damage here. Okay. And then all that we're going to do here is just uh, sit behind our wall of incisors and just take our time breaking everything down. Should work out. Um, and then also having all of these things here, uh, it should also um, help when I get the speeders coming in. Do I have any more uranium? I don't. Okay. A couple more incisors coming in. Yeah, our inventory is uh, a little crazy right now. So we're at uh, about half, and we still have a lot more to go through. And because we are a very specific distance, which is just barely outside of the range of the behemoth's guns, that's when it sends in the incisors. So there comes more. So if you can find this sweet spot, you can get these incisors coming in like one after another, and then all you got to do is just sit here and break them all down. I mean, it's it's super, super, super simple. And then as those get here, they get within my range. I immediately go after the guns because that's the way that they're set up. And the next thing I go after the control units, which means that the remote controls, which are, you know, controlling these things, uh, eventually die. Yeah, so now it's dead, and then it's just sitting there. And then I can take my time doing whatever I need to do here, and I'm actually building up a wall of incisors, which is actually going to help me out uh, with defense. Because if anyone wants to shoot me, they have to shoot through all the incisors. So it's like an extra wall of just defense here, which is awesome. Is that more? Okay, we got more coming in. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, we are going to have so much just stuff just from these incisors coming in. It's like ridiculous. Alright, how am I doing on uranium? Okay, we still haven't taken apart any of the other reactors yet. And I still have that one out there that's at 480 that's just kinda just kinda floating there. Um, I don't think it likes me very much, but that's okay. I'm 
more incisors coming in. We're gonna have so many of these things. It's ridiculous. All right, I'm gonna back up a little bit. Um, hopefully I can get out of that sweet spot range. And then these guys should stop spawning, I think. But yeah, this is a lot of like high grade materials right here that I'm getting. And all I have to do is just tank the damage. That's it. And you see how like with the one on the bottom, it's trying to like move around all of the other ones just to get a good shot at me. Oh, hey, you're not supposed to hit me, sir. Rude. Stop hitting me, dude. Go away. Keep your distance. All right. Okay, so hopefully I'm out of that sweet spot range now, and it shouldn't send any more incisors after me, which means that I should be able to go and tear all of these guys down. Slowly. Eventually. But yeah, we're taking... Yeah, so there's a light patrol drone. So that's coming from the hidden station that's out here somewhere. Um, I'm not worried about that at all. Um, that's coming at me from that side. But the light patrol drones are kind of stupid, so they don't maintain distance. So he'll come right in, and then I'll just rip him apart. There it is. He's dead. I still have that incisor over there on the upper left, just kind of chilling out there. I don't know what he's doing. Like, does he think that he's firing at me? Like, what's going on? But yeah, so I did move out of that sweet sweet spot, which is good. So now I just have to come here and just break all these incisors down and deal with whatever little drones they decide to send after me. So that should work out quite nicely, and I think we are full already. Do I have any more uranium, though? That is the question. So I'm going to head back to uh, back to the Nautilus, drop off all my goods, and then uh, I'll come back out there and mine those guys out. So, let's see, Nautilus is where? Up there. Okay, good to go. And I might actually move the Nautilus a little bit closer, too. It's an Omong Tier 2. That's fine. So let's see where we can get now. Okay, looks like I need to move up some. It looks to be roughly correct. damage anything, so I'll just pull that out. Gives me a little extra space. All 
All right, and we are locked. Dampener's off. Apparently there's something coming after us. Looks like it didn't survive though. All right. So that should move everything out of that. But while I'm doing that, I'm going to move this a little bit closer. But I have to make sure that I maintain a clear line of sight uh, to the station. Just want to make sure that we're good to go here. You know, I bet you I could build another Brutus just with all the pieces and parts I'm getting from these incisors. That would be kind of hilarious, actually. All right, so basically I want to get to within about one kilometer of all the incisors. Uh, well, maybe 1.5 will be good. So we'll stay here. And then I'll head back into the Brutus and we will go and continue to rip things apart. All right, Brutus. Uh, that is the bottom side. I need the top side. There we go. All right. Okay. Um, so now I need to go, let's back up a little bit first. All right. So back over to these, is that an incisor right there? That is an incisor right there. All right, so I'll break down this guy. Hopefully his uranium is still intact. Yeah, it looks like it still has the uh, the reactor in there, at least I think. At least it did. All right, so a little bit more uranium in there, which is good. Okay. Uh, 14 uranium, so we did pick up a little bit more, which is good. And then that's kind of hidden. Okay, so that is now all taken apart. Good. Now I need to head to my little uh, wall of incisors over here. Oh, hey, there's one up there. Um, okay, so let's go and grab this one. Break this one all down. So if it's breaking down the blocks already, that means we probably already got the uranium out of here. So let me just see uranium. Yeah, so we're now at 74.6, good. So we'll put in like another 30 there, another 30 there. And then also, Okay, that is way too slow. Okay, piston magnet, 2.5, sir. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go and grab that thing so it doesn't float away from me. Oh, shit. Um, shields. Down. Come on. Uh, 
let's see, we want to go control Z. There we go, got it. Okay. Now that we have that and it has stopped moving, um, I'm going to let it go. Oh, whoops. And back up and throw my shield back on because we are in enemy territory, so having a shield, probably a good idea. Okay, so there is that incisor, all taken out. All right, we have that one over there, and then we have our wall of incisors over here. So we're gonna take these apart next. There's a lot of scrap around here too. So let me get kind of like situated here. I want to make sure that the incisors stay between me and the behemoth factory, so that way any additional incisors that come in will have to kind of fight through this wall of other incisors. I think this will be close enough. Yeah, 1.31, okay. see how we are doing on uranium. We now have another 90 in there. Good. Uh, let's put in 42. And 42. That puts us at 100 uranium each, which is roughly max uh, for what needs to be in here. So good to go. Is something shooting at me? No. Oh, light patrol drone. These things are annoying. Go away, dude. No one wants you here. All right, I'm going to move a little closer to these guys. Hopefully that's not so close that it'll spawn more incisors. But I should hopefully be within range to uh, start tearing them apart, so that should be good. And if I really want, I can go forward a little bit, grab one, pull it backwards, and then, you know, take it apart at my leisure if I want to go that route. But yeah, I mean, we're doing pretty good, I think. Um, oh, and we have, we're getting tons of ammo, so that's good, too. Good. And that guy is coming apart quite nicely. Some other things that I can do with all of the pieces and parts that I'm uh, acquiring here is uh, build some little tiny drones with missiles and then send them after the behemoth station and just see if I can take out some turrets like one by one. Um, that would be relatively easy to do and we are getting enough materials out here that we should be able to do that without issue. Um, I mean, we'll get platinum from the thrusters, we'll get uranium from you know the reactors that we're taking apart uh, plates, metal plates, military grade plates, all that stuff can be taken apart if I need, you know, additional materials because those things take up pretty much everything. So cobalt, nickel, uh, silicon, all that other good stuff. So it's pretty much self-sustainable out here, honestly, 
which is kind of weird, but kind of cool at the same time. All right, so there is that one taken apart. Good. It looks like it wants to continue taking apart that little tiny drone. There's not much left of it. But yeah, I mean, this is uh, this is what I got going on right now. So uh, yeah. Oh, we got a speeder coming in. Maybe. No, it's just sitting out there. Why is it just sitting out there? It's kind of dumb. I wonder if I could actually take them over. That would be hilarious if I could. Nah, it's not gonna let me. So pirate speeder. So that's the thing. Uh, wrong ownership setting. Okay. Also, are the building repair units set to take everything apart? They should be. Just want to make sure. Yeah, functional block is on too. Okay. Wait, no, that's welding. What am I doing? There we go. Okay, yeah. So that's taking everything apart. Good to go. Alright, so that little drone is now out of the picture, I think. And so now we just need to uh, move a little closer. Not too close, though. Just enough that I can start taking apart these other pieces. Oh, there's another speeder right there. Hold on, can I take over that one? Because I think that's the one that was in there. But apparently I just destroyed the remote control, so that's not going to happen. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, um, I'm just going to chill here for a little bit. So I'm going to pause the video, and I'm just going to be ripping these things apart. So it should be uh, interesting. All right, be right back. All right, so I had an idea, um, and that idea is to spawn some more incisors, but then actually take them over and send them back to the behemoth on a crash course. And then maybe take out a bunch of the turrets and the missiles. Could be uh, an interesting idea, I think. Possibly, maybe, anyways. Oh, hey, we're taking that one apart now, okay. But yeah, so we've taken uh, two apart, two and a half, maybe three. Um, and it's just been just me sitting here, just watching. Um, but if I move forward just a little tiny bit more, we should start spawning some more of the incisors. Um, and then uh, if I keep this on hack, and then see if I can grab a couple of the new ones that come in, pull them back, and then repair them. Uh, that might be something that could work. So I don't know how close I have to get. I do know that I'm very, very close to the limit or to the edge here. What was that? Looks like something just shot across my screen. It's weird. Okay, I mean, it should be pretty close to here. Come on, man. Spawn some incisors for me. I honestly don't know how close I can get before I start hitting things. Because if I nudge these even a little bit because they have no propulsion, they're just going to keep on floating away. And right now, I think those are just shells. I think I've taken everything out of them that needs to be taken out of them. But I'm still not seeing any incisors. 
And I do want to take out the reactors in here if there are any left. And I think I'm close enough to pull from all of these things, so... And then I'll push forward a little bit, because I don't need all of the armor. I mean, the armor is nice. And if I can build some drones with it, like, that's probably a good idea. But at the same time, it's like... Is that really the best use of my inventory space at this point? Are you not going to spawn any incisors? Sir? Okay, so I just bumped into them a little bit. Yeah, so you can see that I am kind of moving it. Spawn incisors, come on now. Just like creeping forward ever so slowly. Okay, so we have a light patrol drone coming in. That's kind of pointless. But we'll put this on hack, just so I can take that thing apart really quick. And the light patrol drones are not the smartest of drones. Um, and so I think I have to get within... Yeah, so you can see he's coming like right in like an idiot but yeah that's uh that's what you get all right let's move in a little closer about another 10 meters okay so now we're at 1.15 away from the behemoth so it should should start spawning some incisors Or not. Hello? How close do I have to get? There we go. So now we have incisors coming in. Alright. So everything's on hack. Everything's on. Everything else seems to be doing its thing. We've got our shields are up. Plenty of power. All right, so we are going to hack these things, try to rebuild them, and see if we can't take them over. And then if I can, I can just pilot them into the behemoth. So we're gonna give that a try. Hopefully I can before more drones come in. All right, so what is this? Small cargo container, okay. So let's repair that. We need motors. Didn't you just say that you took everything out? Oh, what is... Okay, we have more incisors coming in. Okay, so maybe I'll back out of the sweet zone a little bit. Just kind of get myself, okay. So now we should be out of the sweet spot. And then everything should be good to go. So we now have four incisors that I can work with and I have no water, which is not great. Okay, so now that should repair itself. And then as far as getting this done, um, let me see, dispenser. We're gonna just throw a dispenser on here real quick. Um, empty so build that 
Okay, good. Now I need. Let's see, water, water. One, two, three. There we go. So we have our water. I'm also going to need some food. With a luxury meal. Nice. Synth food, spacebar meal. Good to go. Alright, so now we should have food. I should have water. <laughs> I swear, this dispenser is almost like cheating. Because, one, I don't think it actually costs anything. And you can get all the food or water that you need, which is kind of ridiculous. So, let me just go back to the water. And there we go. Okay, so now I should be able to take over that incisor over there. Okay, so if we go through here, uh, it's not showing up. Why is it not showing up? Uh, do we have anything coming in? Okay, what is going on with you, sir? What are you doing? So a lot of re there's four reactors in that thing. Okay, why are you not letting me take you over? Uh, we have a beacon. Oh, because this doesn't have uh, an antenna on it. Okay. Um, I'm sure I could probably fix that pretty quickly. Just throw an antenna on the back here. It's gonna look ugly. I would rather put in a beacon though, if I have a choice. Um, and where would I want that to go? I mean, I could put it like right here. I think that would work. Uh, that's gonna be a little annoying if it's just gonna rebuild. Um, oh my God, do not shoot at me, sir. What the f Hello? Why? Where? Oh, Gamma Drone. Okay, sir. out of here real quick. Seven. Dang it. You're not letting me. Uh, do I really have to turn the projector off? Okay. Projector. Off. beacon on there. We can put all of these things into somewhere. Um, that one is full. What about this one? Okay, so we can put this stuff in there. Okay, good to go. Okay, so now that I have a beacon, that should count as an antenna, which means that I should be able to control some of these things. Um, and then also, I kind of want to take over that drone too. So let me see if there's anything that I can fix on here. Like that, for instance. Let me just... Uh, cannot withdraw four displays. I don't think that needs displays to work. Good. Okay. Oh, it needed displays for that, okay. So now that should let me take over that drone.
I mean, I've got like all the pieces and parts that I need to just kind of keep on requisitioning these drones. So let me see if that shows up on the remote menu, and it does, but I can't control that or that. Oh, that whole thing has a... interesting. Okay, so that isn't showing up on here yet, because why? Did it lose its remote control? Okay, do you not have power? Where would your power be if you had power? Um, you have a reactor, right? That's a gyroscope. I don't care about the gyroscope. Oh, and the battery is dead too. Right, because I don't have... Um, yeah. And it's just a normal battery? Okay. So when it disabled the battery, it destroyed some of the power cells, which, you know, is what it does, basically. So let me see what I can do here. Um, dispenser, thank you. You have served me quite well. Um, but what I need to do now is build in a miniature. I'll actually put it here, I think. Uh, assembler. Compact assembler. That way I can make all of the things. Um, that's just going to be upside down no matter how I do it. Okay, that's fine. But I need assembly motors, which I can't make. What is that? Light patrol drone coming in. Okay. Um, I'm going to put the projector back on. Just in case. Okay, so I need... <sighs> this is just going to be kind of kind of weird. Is that... I'm backwards. Why am I backwards? And we are over an hour in this video so far. Um, what if I were to put like a little tiny reactor on there? Would that work? Do I have the parts for it? I have tier four reactor components, okay. So let me put one of those on here. Um, and let me see what that requires. Reactor component, little tiny one, reactor four, requires metal plates, okay. So give me one of these. Basically I'm just trying to jumpstart this guy and then I'm gonna need a little bit of uranium so I'll grab like one. Uh, let's see, uranium, okay. And that's going to be more than enough uranium for this thing to fly with. Is that ice right there? What is that? No, that's just a block, okay. Um, okay, so little tiny reactor. Tier 4 reactor. Unable to place. Why are you unable to place? Okay, so we'll put you there. Oh, but I can't actually get into it, so that's going to be a problem. Whoops. Sorry, little reactor. Um, okay, so if I need to put this thing in here, and I need access to it, I need it to kind of go in there like that. Good to go. Now we put in this one little bit of uranium. That should put everything back on. Good. Okay, so now I should be able to control it. Yes. <laughs> nice. Uh, is there... Nope. That's not letting me control it. Okay. 
Why are you not letting me control this thing? Okay, so it's giving me some sort of an error message, but it's popping up so quickly I can't see it. Unable to connect to grid, I think is what it said. So do I need like an actual antenna instead of the beacon? Because so I thought the beacon worked like an antenna for remoting. <sighs> okay. Okay, let me just throw an antenna on here just for shits and giggles because why not? Antenna. Just put this guy in there. Change the range to two kilometers. Okay. Okay, so now I took it over. I think. Um, I don't think it has any kind of camera though. Does it have a gyro? Where's the gyro? Hmm. Fairly certain that it had a gyro. Why it's not working is another question. Oh, where did it go? It was in there. Um, do I have plate? I do not. Okay. Gyro. No, not gyro. I need a plate. Okay, so let's throw a gyro on here. That was fast, okay. And then I'm also going to need a camera, I think. I think the camera's got to go like on there. No, uh, I need a plate. You know what, I'm just gonna grab like 50 of these things cause I don't know how many of these I'm gonna need. All right. I also have no idea if that's even facing the right direction according to where the remote control block is. So I guess we'll uh, give it a try, see what we can do. Um, Expedition Frigate, interesting. All right, now we can go into here, throw the camera on. Uh, view, that should be good. Okay, oh, we are inverted though. Okay, that should be fine. Now I need to figure out where Sizer, gunboat, there we go, behemoth. All right, so if I want to take out one of these things, all I need to do is aim. Wait, wait, am I going backwards? Okay. I have to, f mm, this is confusing. Okay, so if back, no, forwards moved us that way. No, where are we? Forward moved us that way. So then is this the front? And I'll get rid of the one that's back here. Or is it gonna be upside down as well? So then it's confusing. I don't know. Um, Not a clue. Hmm. 
Okay, so let's try this again. Remote access, the gamma control. And then we need to put in the new camera. View. Okay, up, down, left, right, good. Now, can I move forward? I think I can. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna freaking punch it like balls to the wall straight into that thing. Should start shooting at me. Yep. That was fast. <laughs> uh okay. Let's see if I did any damage. Probably not. Uh, Behemoth? Nope, it blew up. I don't know if it hit anything. It doesn't look like it hit anything. So yeah, I'm definitely going to need to use the incisors, I think. Uh, they'll be able to stand the gunfire a little bit better. Alright. Um, oh hey, we had a light patrol drone come in. Well, that's nice. Also, where am I compared to the Behemoth? Okay, so I need to go back this way, I think. Okay, so we do have that behemoth up there, which appears to be out of power. Or not behemoth, but uh, incisor. At least it looks like it's out of power. It's kind of hard to tell. It shouldn't be out of power. Alright, so what is your dealio? Okay, so you have reactors. You have... Um... Timer blocks, where is your remote control? It doesn't have one. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? Oh. Little tiny drone. Okay. It's gonna hit my incisor, isn't it? Don't! Don't! Oh you What are you shooting? Oh my okay, we have more incisors coming in. Um, I don't want to blow them all up. Uh, that one is out of luck. Okay, sir, you don't have to nudge me. I'm here, okay? Why are you taking that apart now? Or is it repairing it? I'm so confused. Sir, what are you doing? You're being annoying. Just stop. What is that doing? Is it repairing? Like what? I have no idea what's going on. And also, why aren't you... Game, stop freezing on me. Thank you. Why aren't you, like, doing something about that, sir? Oh, we might be too close to the behemoth. Okay, so now we should be out of range. So it's like 1.15 kilometers it starts sen sending out the incisors. And what is going on with that incisor? It's just being crazy. And also, why aren't you just like hacking that thing? What are you? What are you doing? Oh, I am so confused. Um, so there's nothing here that I can control. There is this. So I think this is the behemoth, or not the behemoth, but the. Uh, no, that's that's the Nautilus. No, not the Nautilus. What is this? Is that this ship? Oh, hey, you need to be renamed to Brutus. 
Lord of Carrion. There we go. Uh, so apparently we have another. Dude, stop bumping into me, sir. Very annoying. And also, why are you shooting at that ship? And also, why aren't you hacking that incisor? What are you doing? So I need to put a remote control onto the one incisor, which I think is this guy here. So he needs a remote control. Oh, why am I taking, getting shot at? What am I getting shot at by? What the? Oh shit, that's an eradicator. Um, yeah, that's dangerous, extremely dangerous. Um, hi, Eradicator. I would like to... Oh, hey, you're gonna... Hey, yeah, come on in. Come on in. Water's, water's fine. Come on in. Let me, let me take you over. Come here. Come here. Come here. A little closer. A little closer. Okay, now hack the hell out of that thing. Before my shield goes down, if you don't mind. What? What? Did we do it? We did it. I think. I think we're doing it. Okay, so the guns are down for the most part, but it's like staying away. Like, can you can you come a little closer, please? Come a little closer. Oh, my inventory's full. That's why. Uh, okay. So that's why it's not doing anything else. Okay. Um, well, I definitely want to take over this eradicator if I can, because that would do a lot of damage if I ran into the behemoth with that. But... Um, we're going to end this video here because we are over an hour. And then uh, we'll see what we can do uh, with that eradicator. But, I mean, the problem is that my inventory is full. So how... I don't know. Anyways, um, that'll be in the next video, which I'll do pretty much immediately. Um, yeah, but that's all for this one. And uh, until the next one, have a good one.